Here are the parts from bag five. They have all been cleaned. So we've got a whole bunch of screws, washers, these are the pulleys from the spring, um, some rolly thing, um, a bunch of nuts. Um, these are the uh, half bushings that hold down the axles that we were talking about. Um, and then we've got this thing. Um, this is kind of an interesting thing. There's a roller up here, and this is the thing that holds on to the, uh, the carriage. Here's the, uh, the carriage. And there's a sort of uh, lip over here, and this thing actually hooks over the lip to prevent it from moving up. So this is uh, connected to some sort of a mechanism um, to prevent the roller from moving up. The, um, sorry, the, uh, the carriage. Um, and I'm not sure if the carriage rolls on this. Um, I'll have to see. Uh, there's a bunch of springs attached to it. So, but the interesting thing is how this was put together because it's all, it all seems to be one piece. Um, and, never, and nevertheless, you have these slotted what appear to be screws, but I don't think they are screws. Um, because if I look at the other side and we look at it very carefully, you can see that it's basically been pounded in as if it were a rivet. Same thing with this thing. If I look at the reverse, you can see that it was clearly pressed in um, quite a bit because you can actually see the fracture marks um, on this other part. So this is some sort of a press fit um, um, thing or rivet and that forms the, uh, the pivot just like that. So, um, so that's kind of interesting. So it's basically uh, several pieces which have been riveted together. Um, the unfortunate thing is that this is the opposite member and it's broken, um, which I think we probably um, mentioned in a previous video. Um, after cleaning this, I did actually find that this um, actually just it doesn't quite slide, but it does come, come off. Um, I assure you, it does come off. Uh, well, all right, it did come off. Um, but anyway, it's um, as this thing rotates, this is actually um, this is actually eccentrically on this uh, shaft sort of thing. So I guess as it rotates, this actually moves up and down slightly. Um, but again, we have this uh, press fit piece over here. So if I wanted to repair this, I would have to uh, drill this out um, and uh, replace not only this piece, but also the, uh, the piece that uh, riveted it in, um, which presumably has a shoulder. Um, so yeah, so uh, I, I really do want to replace that. It's just that I'm not convinced that um, I have the motivation to, uh, to drill out this part and uh, fix it completely. Um, I think I will in the future, but for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. So, So what we're going to do is we're going to start putting these uh, half bushings on. So here's the frame. And the first one that we're going to put back on is this one over here. Now you can see that we have one, two, three screw holes, four, five, six, seven screw holes. And we have seven screws. So that's convenient. Um, they're all the same size. They look slightly different, but um, in fact, the difference is nothing. Um, I think it's just the um, natural difference in manufacturing. So first thing is that one bushing goes over here. Uh, and then I'm going to, um, as before, take some oil and just oil the, uh, I guess I'll oil the threads on this one.
Okay. Take a screw, put it in. And tighten that up. There. Okay, that's not going anywhere now. Um, okay, uh, let's see. We've got. Okay, this one goes on the other side. And you can see that it's got this little hook thing over here. That is a hook for the spring over here. So the first thing that I'm going to do um, before hooking this, uh, before attaching this, is I'm going to run the spring and the rest of the pulleys through here so that I can hook it on here um, so that I can just sort of hook the spring over here and then I can pull on it and screw it down. So before I do that, let me prepare the threads. Okay. And I've got my three pulleys here. And I've got my spring over here. So I have my little pick over here. So I'm going to have to hook the end of the spring. There we go. Just hook that and hold on to it hook it and bring it through the small hole. Um, put a pulley on it. Hmm. What I'm going to have to do is pull on the spring and just sort of pull it out a little more. Kind of like that. So now I can put the, uh, the pulley on it. Okay, then I'm going to have to let it go back in while holding on to the end. Push it through the big hole, hope it doesn't pull out. Push it through the small hole. I guess what would help is if I had uh, another thing to sort of hold on to it. That way I can hook the spring on the other side. That's really hard to do. Okay, there we go. Pull on it. Stick a pulley on it. Hold on to the end with a tool so that I can hook it through. Okay, hook it through the next bit. Put the last pulley on it. And while I'm holding on to it, um, get the half bushing and hook it on the end. There we go. And then it's just going to sit like that. So, so that was a success. So let's put the screw on now. And I'm not going to tighten it up. Now I'm going to tighten it up. And there we go. So now 
I can take the pulleys and put them on their gears so that they're properly positioned. Oops, this one, this one sneaked into a large hole. It needs to move over a little. There we go. And this last one. There we go. So now let me just uh, poke at the uh, spring a little bit to maybe loosen up any tension that may be pulling left to right. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. So that's that done. So the next thing is um, we have this guy and this other guy. So one of them has this big spring, all right? One of them does not. Um, but it does have this sort of guide at the end. And remember that I was saying that um, this lever needed to be aligned properly with this gear. Well, I think that's what this uh, guide actually does. So if I were to place this right over here, like that, yep, that serves the, the purpose that uh, we expected. So it holds this lever uh, in line with this gear, just like that. So that's kind of good. Um, the only thing is this uh, T section. Now this T section, um, I'm not sure if this is the right one, but this T section basically goes in here and then it rotates so that it's sort of locked into place. And I think the problem is that if I were to put that piece on here uh, first, there's no way that I would be able to attach this because as you can see, this is just right up against the gear and there's no room to, uh, to maneuver. So I do have to uh, thread this onto this piece first. Um, and the same thing goes for the other side where you can see again, there's this thing. So uh, the first thing that I need to do is determine which side is which. And so this side, which is the non-broken side, actually came off of the right-hand side of the machine. So let's do that first. Let's move this over. OK, so here it is. Um, and I'm going to lower the camera a bit and point it this way. All right, good. So. So it goes like this. Now we have a spring here. And we also have a spring on here. And we know that this fits, um, I believe, like that. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is just thread this on, just like that. That way this piece can move up and down. It doesn't move up and down very smoothly now, but that's because it hasn't been oiled. So, and then I just sort of stick this in there, just like that. And it just goes in. And this goes down in there somewhere. Okay, just like that. Um, and now, uh, let's see, let's put some oil in the threads and screw that down. There's one screw. There's another screw. Sort of.
and there we go. So let's put some oil on this thing here. Okay, good. Now it does go up and down fairly smoothly. Okay, I can put some oil um, inside, in the hinges, any place where it's rotating. Okay, probably should have done that first. Oops. I just got it stuck on something. Oh no. There. Okay, I wonder if it just goes like that, where the roller is uh, like this? No. Yeah, maybe this, uh, this hook is actually in line with this roller so that the hook can pull back. But the, and so the hook can pull back and then like this can go up and I don't know. That seems plausible, I guess. All right, so, um, so the next uh, item that uh, comes off here, instead of doing the opposite side, um, I'm going to do one of the pieces that came off of here so we have this piece with a little pin on it, um, along with its screw. And we have this big washer and its nut. So this is a 1032 screw. And the screw went on here. So there's a shoulder, which means that we are going to want to uh, oil that, but not right now. Um, and there was a washer that went on just like that. I think that's the way it went. Um, and then the nut. So now I have this part along with its nut. So this is a screw and then there's this pin that faces this way, and then there's the washer and the nut. And this part goes on, I think I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to lift the camera a bit. So let me just do that. Up, 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 over here. Okay, so this goes, um, there is this hole over here, and this goes on in it underneath like this. Now, um, remember that hooky thing over here? Well, apparently that faces down, and it fits on this pin. So I'm just going to slide it into the pin, then do that. And uh, let me put some oil on the threads. Okay, I can tighten that up. Um, I'm going to need to have something holding on to the to the nut while I tighten this up. I'm not sure if I wanted to have that very tight because um, I think it's supposed to move up and down maybe. Or maybe it's uh, adjustable. So I'm just going to loosen it back up. Alright, 
so I've loosened it up a little bit because I'm not really sure, you know, how it's supposed to be rotated inside here. Um, maybe it's just supposed to be straight. So that's kind of a mystery. Um, Yeah, clearly if I don't uh, tighten it, it just comes right off its pin. So clearly, clearly something must be done, but I don't know what that is. And I don't know the purpose of this thing. It does not seem to have a purpose at this point. So I'm just going to sort of leave it there and hope that uh, at some point I'll be able to figure out what the purpose of that thing is. So the next parts that we're going to put on, we have this part with the roller on it, okay? And we have this 1032 screw. And the way this is put together is we have a washer. This is the, I think it's the larger diameter washer because the smaller diameter one that's left is not going to uh, fit. So we have that. And then we have the part. And then we have this uh, washer with bushing. So that just sits right in there. So that's going to have to be oiled. Um, and then this gets placed here, just like that. And if you look carefully, there is actually a cam in here. And this roller sits on that cam. So it's basically a cam follower. And then we've got this uh, funny special little nut that goes up like this. So let's go ahead and um, put some oil on what? I'll put some oil in the nut to prevent rusting. Now I'll put it on the threads just like that. And before I tighten it up, I'm going to apply some oil on this bushing. Now, and I'm also going to make sure that it's lined up properly with the cam. And then I'm going to tighten this up. Let's see, I'm going to have to hold on to this and tighten it up. Okay. Okay, let's just rotate this a bit to get it all oiled properly. Okay, so that way when this turns, you can see that this lever goes in and out, in and out, just like that. And you can see, let's rotate this down now. Camera down, you can see that there is a hole right over here for the spring, because you can see that I ha that you have to hold the follower up against the cam. So we will simply hook that spring, pull it down, and then attach it there. Just like that. So what I'm going oops, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the uh, the camera back up. 
and rotate this. And then pull the spring and hook it on to here. There we go. And let's make sure that it's on the cam. Yes, so now when I rotate, you can see that the lever is the um, the follower is pushed up against the cam. Just like that. And I'm going to lubricate that cam um, and its roller. There we go. Now the cam surface is also oiled. So let's take a look at the parts that we have left. Lowering the camera and moving this over a bit. All right, so we've got um, this broken uh, part, which we're not going to deal with yet. Um, we have a small screw and a large screw. We have two nuts that go along with that. We have a little uh, washer. We have two screws and the half bushing that will definitely go along with that part. And then we have these two friction brakes. So um, let's attach one of the friction brakes and we're going to need the small screw and the small washer, uh, I'm sorry, this nut. Does this washer fit over this screw? Eh, not really. I'm kind of wondering where this washer went because it's not going to fit over this screw and it's not going to, well, it's, it's sort of kind of going to fit, fit over this, this screw. So that's a good question. Um, and I don't see the, uh, the washer in the video yet. So uh, we're just going to take this along with the nut and the brake and we're going to install it on the right hand side. So if we look at the right hand side, you can see this section right over here. And if I lift it up a little bit, you can see that it will align with this hole over here. And uh, that's on purpose. Uh, the friction brake actually sits right inside there and it will attach to another shaft that runs along this side. So, but we have to, uh, we have to install it now. Okay. We also take our screw, uh, which has a shoulder, which is a good thing because that needs to fit right on there. So that's basically that. And then on the other side, we'll just uh, take one of the nuts. Well, first I'm going to oil the threads on the screw. Then we're going to take one of these nuts, and we have two of them. Um, they're pretty much identical. And now I need to screw It's a thin, it's a thin slot. So I'm going to need to change my bit to a smaller one. Again, this is one of those um, wide yet thin slots, which doesn't exactly seem to be standard. So that goes there. And now I just sort of rotate the screw so that it's in there. I should probably use a smaller screwdriver because this is really kind of hard, difficult. And by smaller, I mean shorter. There we go, it's going in. Okay, I 
think that's it. So let's just tighten that up with the right tool, which is kind of big. Now, let's rotate, and um, this is a rotational part, so I'm going to just put some oil in there. So that it can rotate nicely. We've got this, which is kind of loose, so it doesn't really need any, uh, need any lubrication. So now we can see that, um, that this section just goes straight up and down, or very nearly straight up and down, and that this section goes back and forth very nicely. So that's basically how that mechanism works. It can lift, and it can unlock, and it can lock, and it can go down. So the only thing that's left is really this spring, which presumably goes somewhere over here. Or, you know, possibly, possibly up here, because if I pull on this, so that would have to be pulled down. Uh, but there is no, um, apparently, no part yet, unless it actually goes here? No. So we'll figure that out. So what's left now is definitely the opposite side. So we've got, we've got this. We've got this screw, which clearly goes in there, just like that. Um, we have a nut. We have the half bushing. The half bushing along with its two screws. We have the friction brake, which I believe will just sit right over there, or actually no. Um, with this friction, with this side, it actually goes on first like this, and then like this. Um, and then we have a nut. Now, we still have this washer, so where does that washer go? So I have these uh, two, two uh, washers, and I have these two uh, bigger washers that I found. Um, and the thing is that there's the smaller washers are supposed to go on this screw and on the other screw. And uh, if I measure the outer diameter of this, uh, of this screw, I'm getting 0.158. And if I measure the inner diameter of this washer, oddly enough, I'm getting also 158. So um, there's no way that this washer is going to fit on this very easily. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set these aside because that's really unnecessary. And I'm just going to use these bigger washers. Um, they're a little thicker. But uh, they will serve uh, the exact same purpose as uh, the other washer did. And they will actually work better. So I'm simply going to put that on there. And then put the washer on, uh, put the nut on. And just spin it on. go. The washer serves its purpose. The frame is protected. And now we'll work on this other side. So uh, let's see what we have. We've got this. We've got the nut. We've got the screw. We've got the brake. We have this broken piece, which again is unfortunate, but I don't think that I'm going to work on fixing it at this point. We have the bushing and it's two screws. So 
Uh, let's see. Well, we know that um, we're going to take the, uh, the screw, put the brake on it, and put it through here. And I think I'm going to want to put a little bit of oil on here. And then put it through the hole, and then rotate it a little bit to distribute the oil. Okay. Then, this will have to go through um, probably uh, this, uh, probably this hole right over here. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in. There we go. And then we have a washer. Whoops. I had a washer. There it is. Washer. And a little bit of oil for the threads. And the nut. Just making sure that this part doesn't get in the way. Okay, so now I can just hold on to that and tighten the other side of it. Okay. So I am going to have to just insert that and tighten it from the screw from the slot side. All right, there we go. Um, and now we've got, let's see. So, yeah, this could use a little bit of oil, I think. So I'm just going to put some in there. There we go. Now it's nice and loose. Um, let's go ahead and just put a little bit of oil in various uh, places here, here. So, all right. Okay, and now we'll take this, thread it through the uh, little slot here. Okay, and that. This has to go down. So what's it hanging up on? What is it hanging up on? There we go. Okay. Let's just make sure that the guide correctly guides that little lever over here. Let's put some oil in the screw holes. Put one of these screws in, because I think the other one is going to be a bit of a pain. So I'm just going to that and then yeah the other one is probably going to be a little bit of a pain because the rollers in the way I'm going to sort of try to fit it in there that is going to be a real pain so I'm just going to try to put it in with my fingers just at least get it aligned with the hole And the roller is just in the right place to, to be in, in the way of screwing the screw in. It's 
really not going in. I think I have it at the right angle, but the question is, can I at least rotate it a little bit? Nope. It's being difficult. Maybe if I raise it? Maybe I need to get a really, really small screwdriver. So let me try that. So I have a really thin screwdriver that maybe will do the trick. So let's see. Yeah, it does. It's not ideal. And I really, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I had this problem when I took this thing apart. Um, I'm really not sure how they actually put this thing together with this roller in the way. So there we go. Now it's fairly tight. I'll just tighten up the other side and uh, oil this uh, slot right here. Okay, seems a bit stuck. Why is it stuck? Ah, okay, because the, oh boy, <laughs> the brake is in the wrong place. I'm going to have to loosen this up a bit. Maybe even take the screw out. Oh well. And put it back in. There we go. Problem solved. better. All right, so hold on to the nut with, uh, with the wrench, tighten up the slot on that side. Very nice. And then, of course, we see that this spring goes onto this post right down there. loaded. It's pretty smooth. This goes back and forth, even though it'll serve no purpose. Um, and that's it for bag five. So that's, uh, that's it for bag five. And that's also it for, I think, um, that would be video number four. Uh, no, actually, there were some things left on video four, so we're going to go and uh, take a break right now, and when we come back, we will complete the reversal of video number four. So, until next episode, see ya.